The Halloween event is only going to be here for a limited amount of time, so we got to take advantage of it while we have it. So today, we're going to be continuing our first room challenge series by hopping into Mara de Toten. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Hopping on in. And I'm kind of scared on how this is going to go. I haven't done a first room challenge on Mauer before, so I have zero experience at this. But at least there's a decent amount of room to run here. We got a lot of open space. And I am using the same class I did last time, E-Tool and Aether Shroud. I think that's probably our best bet. The E-Tool is going to one shot for a while until we can get a pumpkin that drops the Cerberus. Then, I don't know, I might switch to Ring of Fire since we do have the Cerberus. That's a weapon that we can really abuse with Ring of Fire and get a lot of zombies down with. But I think having the oh shit button is going to help out a lot. So I guess we'll see as we go. And this time I switched up the peripheral. I'm on keyboard and mouse. Uh, on our last challenge, I was playing on PlayStation. So maybe I'll do a little bit better this time since keyboard and mouse is my native controls. But I feel like I'm jinxing myself now. We got our first pumpkin. Don't be a mimic. Oh, let's go. Armor. And a sentry turret. I'm just going to throw the sentry turret down right here to get all the zombies that are spawning underneath us. And this time through, unlike Forsaken, we're not going to be able to use this perk because we need power on to grab Tombstone. Tombstone honestly could have been helpful for this. The, the one time I kind of want to use it and we can't. The only thing we can do to get ourselves back up is buy self revive. So I got to make sure I'm keeping track of my salvage. The thing I'm the most scared of on this run is the Panzer because I could get used to like training some zombies around. There's going to be like manglers showing up every once in a while. We'll see some tormentors, you know, nothing too crazy. But once that Panzer shows up and starts hitting you with the flamethrower and the firebomb. He starts flying around. That thing could deal some damage. And here in this spawn room, we don't have a whole armor stand to work with like we did on Forsaken. So if our armor's broken, we gotta get lucky and find a drop for it. Actually, maybe I should use Frenzied Guard. Frenzied Guard might be the smarter play here so I can replenish my armor whenever I have a full field upgrade. But I do like having the double stock option of Aether Shroud. Being able to have two at the ready, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted. I guess we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll change it up. But so far, the furthest we've made it in one of these first room challenges with the Halloween event active is round 60. And we did that last year on Forsaken. This year, our highest is 53. So I want to at least try to beat 53. I know it's going to be a lot more difficult here. But you know what? I think we can do it. A at the very least, if I hit round 40, I'll be all right with it. And I'm going to go ahead and put my prediction out. I think... We'll get the Cerberus by round 25. I think that's a good bet for it. Because I think it'll take a round till like round 20 something anyways for us to start getting pumpkin drops more consistently. And then for those drops to even be good, we're going to have to be like in the later rounds. So hopefully I at least get a chalice before then so I can have a better chance of taking out those panzers. Because I don't think those panzers count towards the round count. So if we can't take one out and we just have to kind of run away from it, we there's a chance of them just stacking up on us. We got another pumpkin. What is it? Ooh, level two armor and a cruise missile. That's perfect. Even if we don't use the cruise missile to kill any zombies, that gives us a, a second oh shit button. Because once we pull out that laptop, we're invulnerable. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could try these challenges out with a gun. So I kind of forget that there's chalices and aether wrenches. So we just need one aether wrench and like a gold chalice. And we can have like some nice diamantes or something. I'm gonna have to get like this up close and personal with these zombies. And I could throw on some attachments to help with some salvage drop. On top of that, I'll have all the points in the world because I'm not spending them on anything to buy ammo back. And our next challenge, I'm definitely using a gun. What gun should I use though? So I know the Gallo's nice. I know the Diamatis are nice. Maybe even the Hauer. It's just a, a world of options. Oh, I guess I could try the Diamatis right here. Let me buy these. And do I have a blueprint for these? I do. And they're called Sick. So let me use these until we get the Cerberus. Is there any other wall buys in this first room? I don't think so, right? There's not a whole lot of wall to put one on. Yeah, it's just the Diamatis. I guess it was meant to be. Oh, here's our first Panzer spawn of the day. I don't know how well these DMIs are going to do against them. Because they already aren't really one-shotting zombies unless I'm hitting headshots. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, it does nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and Aether Shroud already. And we're just going to go ahead and try to take this out with the E-Tool. There we go. We got it sleeping. So already not liking my odds against the Panzer. I feel like we're going to have to keep an Aether Shroud ready for it. Oh, I'm already out of ammo for the Diamatis. Good thing the ammo crate is not too far away. It's going to be right up here where we're going to do most of our training. Oh, we have another jack-o'-lantern and it's a mimic. Perfect. Exactly what I want to see. Oh, I forgot about disciples. We had these on Forsaken and they're a little bit annoying. I got taken out by a few of them. But them powering up the zombies is not good for us. Especially if it takes a while for us to get a chalice. That's going to make this go by a lot slower. And on these early rounds, I'm kind of trying to avoid nukes just for the chance that I could get a jack-o'-lantern. On the higher rounds, I'm definitely running right for them. But I want to make sure I'm getting as much salvage, as many drops as possible. 
no matter what they are. But mostly salvage. We're going to need a lot of that. We got to stock up if we want any self revives. Please be a chalice. Let's go. Oh, and we got the combat bow. Okay, now we need to make a decision. Do we keep the cruise missile as a, as a way out if we get cornered or we take the combat bow? I feel like we're better off with the combat bow. That's going to help us a lot with the panzers. Oh, what do we get now? What is this? Dead wire? Better than nothing. I accidentally hit my uh, aether shot, but that's fine. Helps me pick that up easier. I almost wish they reverted Deadwire back to how it was at launch, where it was actually just stupidly OP. Back when that was like the Shatter Blast and nowadays. So I didn't really experience it too much. I didn't start getting into Cold War zombies until after I got like Dark Matter and multiplayer. So I kind of missed out. But at least I'm not missing out on this Halloween event. Because I don't know if this thing's ever coming back after this year. I don't know if they'll keep throwing this in Cold War. I hope they add it as like a, a mode after. That way people that want to play it still can. Oh, ooh, our first tough situation there. I'm getting a little cocky. Just standing there trying to shoot my Diamatis and almost just got taken out for it. Oh, I forgot about Tormentor rounds for some reason. These are going to be easy. This is a nice little leisurely round. Get out of here. Who's next? Come here. Sit down. Anyone else? Or is that it? Nope, that's it. I hope you are smart enough to avoid being hit by a train. What? Why did he say that? He said, I hope you're smart enough to avoid being hit by a train. There's no trains here. Just a panzer. He's going to die to one hit of this combat bow. Oh, maybe two. Oh, yeah. That took half his health. Come over here. I'll give you a nice little hug. There you go. Enjoy that. Oh, shit. Ooh, got an aether shot out of that. But took him out. That's where the combat bow comes in handy, baby. Honestly, I'm going to be real. The second another ammo type drops, I'm picking it up. I don't really like dead wire at all right now. Because right now, basically what I'm doing is just running around. If a zombie gets in front of me, I'm just slapping him with the E-tool. But sometimes Deadwire activates and I just can't move past them. Like, it's nice when it gets all these guys, but it doesn't really kill them. Like, it takes out a few, but the other ones just walk away with some damage. It's not as useful as I thought it would be. Cerberus, please. Oh, a death machine. That's not bad. And I'm throwing brain rot on this immediately. But not picking up the death machine. Good drop, but our combat bow's fine. They 100% nerfed these pumpkin drops. I think in these 20 rounds, I've seen like seven drops, including this one that's on the ground right here. And the drops aren't as good as they used to be either. To be fair, it was pretty OP before, but that's what made it fun. I mean, it's still pretty fun, but <laughs> I just want more help here. What do we get? Oh, a gold chalice. Let's go. Let me get that. Now we don't have to worry about pack-a-punching our E-tool at all anymore. All chalices can go towards our secondary. And honestly, Brain Rot's not a bad ammo mod to have on here. It infects other zombies, does the dirty work for me. This is a nice upgrade from Dead Warrior. Oh, and we finally got the Cerberus. Let's go. First, let's get this to gold. And then, sorry, Diamatis, you gotta go. Cerberus is coming with me. Does this still do well in round 22? Oh, yeah, it does. But it's definitely not as efficient as the E-Tool right now. So I'm, I'm gonna use the rest of its ammo and then just wait till we get a, a chalice for it. Then we'll be really cooking with oil. Come here, disciple. Stop avoiding me. You bitch. You fat bitch. Why are you flying right where I can't hit you? Why is this thing actually trying to outsmart me? Come here. Stop it. Chalice, please. No. Well, we got cryo freeze. Kind of sounds like chalice, please, but we don't need that. Is that a chalice? No, that's a ray gun. Don't think I'm gonna have the ray gun and the Cerberus. As much fun as that sounds like, I think the E-Tool gives us a little stability. That way we don't have to rely on ammo if we run out. And we might just run out of points trying to buy ammo for these two. It's like 10,000 per. I think it gets more expensive every time you uh, pack a punch it too. So sorry, ray gun, you gotta stay on the ground, buddy. Come here, disciple, you little bitch. Sit down. Maybe we have a higher chance of a drop if we get a lot of kills in succession. Don't know if I used that word right. I'm not going to lie. But if we get a lot of kills at the same time, I think it increases your drop rate of like power up. So why wouldn't it do the same thing for uh, pumpkins? Please, chalice. Nope. Another ray gun. We have one, two, three ray guns on the ground. I could use some pack-a-punch over here. Where's that panzer at? I heard it spawn. You can't hide from me forever. There it is. Come here. I hit it once with the combat bow, but it needs another hit. It needs a little touch up. Come here, motherfucker. Sit down. Ow, that hurt. Bitch. Are you dead yet? All right, good. It's sleep. Come here, disciple. I'm going to brain rot you. Uh-oh, that's a bad idea. Probably don't jump into a big horde of zombies. Not the smartest. Oh, we finally got a chalice. We have to get to it, though. Okay, keep this out. Zombies, stay away from me. Please, let me just grab this chalice. Thank you. 
Now we have a pack of punch three Cerberus. This just got a whole lot easier. Especially dealing with these disciples. They just like to fly in places where I can't melee them. Now they have nowhere to hide. And we basically have our full setup. We just need level three armor, I think. And then we have all the drops. Wait, what round is it? 25? What round did we get our Cerberus? Way earlier than that. Damn, I was off. Ooh, I'm low. And we got our first Mangler, but we didn't really get a chance to look at him. I just turned and shot and he was gone. This is why the Cerberus is like my favorite wonder weapon. Not only does it look sick, but just in its base version, it does crazy damage. And by base version, I mean like none of the different like weapon types you see drop on the ground. Just the OG with the floating ball. Oh, fucking Mimic. Get the hell out of here. You know what? Eat a Brain Rot. Napalm Burst? Eh, I like Brain Rot. We're sticking with it. And there's our level three armor. So we're all stacked now. Oh, a Gersh? Give me that. Once this round starts, any zombie that spawns down here is getting eaten by a black hole. Go ahead. Spawn in. There we go. Enjoy that. Do zombies from up here get taken down with it if I get closer? Oh, they do. That's sick. Okay. Maybe we can develop a strat out of that if we somehow get a bunch of those. No, no, no. Panzer, come here. Take that. Take a little bit of this. You know what? Eat some Cerberus too. So far, Panzers have not been a problem, but I probably just spoke that problem into existence. I have a very bad commentator's curse. And we've been doing a good job of holding on to our blue salvage. I haven't spent any of it yet, and we're at 1,500. That'll buy us a few self-revives. But so far, haven't gone down. Now that I've talked about it, gonna go down pretty soon. So especially when we once we hit these, like, early 30 rounds, that's when things really start changing up. But we've made it to 30. We're about halfway to where I want to be. Let's brain rot the mangler. Oh, come on, brain rot. Go off, please, bro. Oh, did it? Let's go. Go to work over here. Fuck him up. That's actually so clean. Now that I'm kind of just mainly using the Cerberus as a primary, pulling out the, the brain rot on the E tool is kind of crazy because it basically guarantees like our first or second hit on any enemy is going to be a brain rot if we don't use it too often. So we can kind of just get these elites on our side. Once you get to like the 30s, look how many pumpkin drops you get. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. You no, know let's just do a little quick pack opening here. Quick armor. A little chalice and another bow. A war machine and dead wire. Gross. Another chalice and more dead wire. Even more gross. And artillery strike and another chalice. So if you really want the nice drops, wait till you're on round 30. Honestly, even with all the extra stuff that you get in Forsaken, like on their starting room, Mauer's been so much easier. I, I'm definitely talking myself into just dying like soon but we've gotten way further with no downs and it's been like a lot less stressful i feel like just having abominations there makes it so much more difficult and just the spawn rate of elites on that map is crazy you get every single elite besides like megatons i think here you know you still get like manglers disciples and panzers but those are way easier to deal with and the cerberus is just goaded this thing's demolishing just melting through hordes. My armor is so crazy low. And I haven't seen an armor drop in about a decade. Not even a carpenter. I'm gonna need somebody to give me some armor. And fast. Gotta use my oh shit button. I got a little too close for comfort. This is starting to get a little difficult. No way, is that an armor drop? Give me that right now. Thank you. We are chilling now. This has been our best run yet. We've made it to round 40. Round 41. Still with no downs. Again, knock on wood. You gotta knock on wood if I die, it's your fall. But we might be able to beat our record on this attempt. What the hell was that? A nade just went off over there and started laughing. Was that a scare package? That's kind of weird. While I've been doing this challenge, I've kind of had a little like side quest throughout the middle of it. My main goal is try to kill a zombie right over top of this ray gun sitting down over here and hoping that it drops a pumpkin right next to it so I can get a nice clean screenshot of a jack-o'-lantern and a ray gun sitting right next to each other. That'll make a nice thumbnail for a video. So I've just been trying to lead all the zombies over here and take them out right next to it. Go ahead, crawl right by the ray gun, sir, and drop your head right now. Eh, kind of works a little bit. That's not a pumpkin drop, but it's a pumpkin for sure. Ooh, hoo, hoo. ooh, that was the closest we've gotten to our first down yet. Holy shit, that was scary. That armor break sound really just lets it set in. Lets you know that these zombies are not to fuck around with anymore. Oh! 
Almost got downed right there. And there's a Panzer roaming around somewhere in here. That's a scary. Armor, please. Nope. Nice. Oh, there's the Panzer. Okay, I'm Aether shotting now. And I'm going to light him up. Oh, he does not take that much damage. What about some nades? You guys like nades? It's still not dead. I'm scared. No, 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 no. Here comes our first down. Damn. We don't have an Aether Shroud, which is really, really bad. We've made it this far. <sighs> okay, we need to think here. If I go down there, that crafting table isn't that easy to get to. So if I can't get myself revive and get out in time, I just die. And then that's just a waste of salvage. If I, if I can even get the self revive purchase off. I think I might just have to try to tough out this round and get it in between. Please have armor in here. No way. Come on. That pans are still alive too. Okay, let me stun these guys. Give me a second to think here. Keep the pans are stunned. We need to get him out of here. Uh-oh. Out of ammo. No! I was so cocky and I go down one time and it's all over. <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to deal with that. Man, I really thought I had that down. I was like, all right, let me just try to take this Panzer out and we're good. It doesn't work like that. That Panzer just turned around and bitch slapped me with his flamethrower. Having no armor there and not easy access to that crafting table. Me using two Aether Shrouds that round really screwed me over. Man, it'd be yourself. But I'm going to end it there. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike if you're new here. Please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can go ahead and follow my Instagram and my Twitter. Links to those are down in the description below, as well as a link to my Discord if you want to go ahead and join that. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.